Hey everybody, it's Krishna with another quick tip to help you level up your digital illustration skills. And this is a skill that I think is really important to know. Uh, it's not so much of an illustration tip, but it is a tip that you can use with your illustrations. So what you see here is part of an exercise that I do to um, improve my creativity and just generally warm up. And it's basically a series of grids that I fill in with illustrations or quick thumbnail sketches really uh, using a random object generator that you can find on the web so um, here we've got a website uh, all you have to do is Google random image generator and you'll find several to choose from I'll put a link to the one that I'm using in the description but essentially you can just click the button and you just get different objects and this is a great way to practice and get out of your drawing comfort zone by just picking objects at random and then attempting to sketch them. These are just quick and dirty sketches. Uh, but the tip involves um, actually you know, creating those grids from scratch. And I'll walk you through this tip and we'll just pick kind of a reddish color to start out with. And you wanna make sure that you use a new layer. So I'm gonna make a grid. I'm holding down the shift key as I make my straight lines. I'm putting this on a new layer. And the tip involves duplicating the layer, Command J, then using the Move tool, hit the V key, holding down the Shift key, and then dragging the rectangle over to whatever distance you want, and then selecting the two layers that I've created and merging them by hitting Command E. Let's do that again. Command J duplicates the layer. Make sure that you've got the move tool active, which is V. Hold down the shift key and drag over. And you can rinse and repeat that for however many um, rows you want. And what I'm gonna do in this particular example is just now make columns. So what I can do is hit Command J, use the move tool, hold down the shift key, and I can just keep doing that by hitting Command J and using the Move tool to move things down. And then when I'm done, I can always merge these objects into uh, one layer. I can call it Grid, and then I can lock the layer so that I don't accidentally draw on the grid itself. So I hope you found this tip to be useful. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I've got a couple of um, illustration tutorials that are lined up here. Uh, but this is just a quick, commonly used technique that I feel um, all digital illustrators need to know if they're using Adobe Photoshop. So if you enjoyed this video, I would definitely appreciate a like. Please share this with your friends and pals. And um, thanks again for watching.